Hey, what's good, everybody? Um, yeah, in the middle of doing my dad duties, but I wanted to talk to you guys real quick about the Google Pixel 6a. I get questions about it. Is it still worth getting? Um, is it still worth looking at? All that other stuff. Look, let me say this though. Let me take let me take the elephant out of the room. This is not getting seven years of OS support. It's not right. That's left to the eight and the eight Pro, and you know future Google Pixel Tensor based uh, phones. But like the previous ones are not getting that. I don't know why. Ask Google. But I'm not too worried about that, you know, just because, I mean, this is a 6A. Um, to everybody, it's a mid-range device because it's, it's made of plastic. I beg to differ. Um, there is no difference in performance uh, between this and the Pixel 6, right? And that's what this is supposed to be, like the budget version of the Pixel 6. That's really what everyone looks at it as. But I judge a flagship and a mid-range based upon like, you know, its performances and what it what it tends to offer. And the 6A offers everything that the 6 offers, um, minus a few things, right? So like the camera sensor, obviously a 12.2 megapixel camera. So like the, the pixel count is smaller. Um, that doesn't mean that, you know, it's a, it's a terrible camera. I can tell you guys that I've taken some amazing photos with the Pixel 6a. And I've taken photos with the Pixel 6 and it's 50 megapixel camera sensor and the photos from the Pixel 6 looked a little wonky and weird. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is, right? Um, but yeah, you can take some very decent photos with the Pixel 6a. Um, video, you can take some good video with it too. A lot of people tend to want to like want this thing to be like a one of those uh, heavy cameras you use for video production. It's not going to give you that type of results, but you can vlog with this. This makes a great vlogging camera. Um, if you're into that, but if you just want to capture like life's moments, you know, like vacations and stuff like that, little quick clips here and there, it's definitely going to do the job. Um, another thing I really enjoy about the Pixel 6a and why I think it's worth getting is the battery life on this thing is actually really decent. It's really good. Um, not as good as the Pixel 5a, but you can get a good amount of time on a single charge. And I think that's what a lot of people look for when they're looking at the device as far as for the battery is just like, how long can it get on a single charge? Some people want, you know, their phone to at least go from the moment they wake up to the to the moment they're about to go to bed, and it'll get you there. Um, that I can assure you of. Um, I can say that, you know, the build quality is probably another thing that I really enjoy about the Pixel 6a, just for the simple fact I ain't got to worry about it, you know, falling or anything like that because it's plastic. Um, you got these thousand dollar flagship glass sandwich phones that you know you definitely have to be careful with because that's a thousand dollar investment in them and you crack that and you flush your money down the toilet having to spend big dollars to get those repaired. At least with this, it's got a good chance of survival. I've dropped it once already. It's got kind of like a kind of like a scratch right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. And that happened just because it it dropped, but everything worked fine. Everything's still working solid on this. So hey, you know, kudos. Kudos to that. Hashtag polycarbonate phone durability. <laughs> um, besides that, you know, I can say a lot of things about it. Android 14, uh, this is definitely going to get like a little bit more time left in it. I would say probably the cutoff point is like Android 16, just to be honest with everybody. I feel like that might be the cutoff point. Um, but who knows? It may go longer. Who knows? That That's totally up to Google if they're going to like continue the life support for this phone and i think they really should i mean it's a very great phone um the first of the a series to be tensor based so you know that's you know that's something that you know i can honestly say like with google everything with them now is in-house so why not but anyways that's just my quick thoughts on the google pixel 6a thanks for checking out this video